everyone, it's Anita Foster with the Arlington ISD with the district update for Monday, May 24th. Today's district update is the last one for the school year and it's filled with nothing but good news stories. Dr. Cavazos is here, as always, to fill us in on some of those good news stories. Dr. Cavazos, tomorrow's the last day of school and we made it. That's correct, Anita, and so a big thank you to the team uh, for getting us to this point. I mean, we have had a challenging year, but we are now uh, wrapping up this school year uh, very positively. And I just want to start off by thanking everyone, the teachers, the staff, everyone involved in making this year uh, possible and getting us to this point. You mentioned that we have faced challenges in the past year and COVID-19 is responsible for a lot of the big, big challenges that we had. On Thursday, the Board of Trustees met and they made some changes to the protocols. Talk to us about those changes and how it affects us as staff. That's right, Anita. Our protocols will come to an end on Wednesday, May the 26th. And so uh, we've been very mindful, very uh, diligent with our protocols throughout the entire year, but we are turning that corner and it is time uh, to return to that normalcy. So what that means is that May 26th, uh, we won't do temperature checks or health screeners or we won't uh, have to wear masks and things like that in our buildings. We'll welcome visitors back and parents into the building. All those protocols that were restrictive, and quite frankly, they were restrictive because they worked. Uh, we know that this year we mitigated the spread of COVID-19, but it is time to, to undo those protocols, and that's what we're doing. One of the questions that we've gotten since Thursday is, is about the contact tracing and the quarantining. Will that continue? Uh, and the other question is, what happens if someone tests positive on a campus? So if someone tests positive on the campus, Anita, we are going to require isolation and we are going to notify uh, the, the school. And so that notification will be posted that there is a, an active case or a positive case at the school. Uh, we won't do quarantine and we won't do contact tracing uh, because we have changed our protocols. We know the numbers are low, uh, but if there is a case, we will provide notification of that case. And we recently did a vaccination clinic uh, for students uh, 12 to 17 years old. Is that something that will continue during the summer months? So we'll have other opportunities to do that, Anita. And I thank again our Arlington Fire Department for partnering with us to provide that vaccination clinic uh, for students. But we will continue to do those partnerships in the summer uh, so we can continue the vaccination effort because we know that that's a big piece of that puzzle to return us to normalcy as well. Well, that's definitely good news representing the end of the uh, probably worst part of COVID-19. So let's turn our attention to some fun things that we've been able to attend over at Webb Elementary. I know you were on hand when Candace Keller got $5,000 from the North Texas Honda dealers. Tell us about that. Well, that's right, Anita. So Candace Keller was outstanding. And you, if you know her, uh, she's got a lot of energy. She actually is the Wallaby mascot at Webb Elementary. And we've interacted several times but she thought she was coming to present at some event and to be part of some event. What it really was, was honoring her. And she had uh, this opportunity from uh, North Texas Honda dealers to honor her, but also provide funding for her classroom. So when she entered, uh, she was really surprised when she saw all the individuals there, media, her family, staff, students, all for her. And I think she greeted every single person in that room uh, and she was just outstanding and, and she continues to be a role model for, for teachers. So thank you to her. And our surprises weren't done because after that we went to Knox Elementary where Elizabeth Brock, PE teacher, was also surprised uh, by the Dallas Cowboys, Reliant Energy and $3,000 for her PE class. That's right. So uh, Miss Brock was uh, again uh, coming outside to the parking lot thinking that she was going to be involved in some kind of a book donation. And when she came out of, the, of her classroom area, uh, she saw the big Dallas Cowboy bus, the, uh, the mascots Rowdy and the Reliant Energy representatives, et cetera. And she was overwhelmed too, because it was all for her. And these are great opportunities to honor and recognize our teachers. Thank you to Reliant Energy, the Dallas Cowboys for partnering uh, to honor North Texas teachers. And we have had two of those honorees in Arlington ISD, so great job. And I will point out, we were the only district with two teachers during the Reliant Energy That's right. Class Acts program this year. So congratulations to those guys. Now, you were the man with all the jokes recently during the Kiwanis Woodrow Counts Teacher of the Year Award event. 
Dr. Cavazos, right. what did you do? Well, so we invited the recipients of the Teacher of the Year for the district uh, on behalf of the Kiwanis, and we told them that it was going to be a task force on virtual learning. And oh, they when, were thrilled. They were Peter. thrilled. So when we let them into the Zoom room, uh, we had all the Kiwanis representatives and their principals, and they came in the room thinking that they were on a task force. And they looked excited, moderately, uh, to be there. <laughs> and so when we told them that it was actually to honor them uh, for their work and to be honored as Teachers of the Year, boy, their whole perspective changed and they were really, really joyful. And it was such a great time to do that. And uh, again, thank you to the Kiwanis. They put a lot of effort into this. Exceptional teachers are Teachers of the Year. So thank you to them. And not to be outdone by any of those great stories, Michelle Quigley, was a virtual audience member on the Kelly Clarkson Show. Now she's our librarian over at Peach Elementary and she was on the show with former First Lady Laura Bush. That's right, and so she received funding also for her library and if you've been to the Peach Library, you know it is about love and student service. And so she does a great job, I've been there several times. And so HEB, another great partner of Arlington ISD, also donated an additional $6,000 uh, to that uh, great award, so congratulations. So that was in total, it was over $11,000 right. for Michelle Quigley's library right. at Peach Elementary. It's gonna be super exciting to see what she does. And uh, Dr. Cavazos, I'm not sure how to, how to say this, I'll just throw it <laughs> out there, but I understand somehow you're a gamer now. Well, I don't know that I'd go that far, Anita. I had one opportunity to partner with Chief Al Jones at the Esports Stadium here in Arlington. They were hosting a gaming event for our students uh, and partnered with the Arlington Police Department. So we had officers and students really competing against each other and building a relationship. This is just one of the efforts that the Arlington Police Department has with our school district. We know those relationships are uh, important. And so, yes, as part of that, I was able to uh, compete against Chief Jones. And, and I do believe that I was successful and, and, and victorious. Did you really win, Dr. Cavazos? Well, I felt I won, Anita. I hit a bunch <laughs> of buttons at the same time, and it made a lot of noise and a lot of moving characters. And at the end, Chief Jones just stood up and walked away. There was a, a student who was helping me and, and really wondering, I think, more perplexed whether I was actually playing or just hitting the buttons. And uh, I explained to him that this was a strategy. But uh, I want to thank specifically to that point, uh, Rini Lazardo, because Rini Lazardo, principal at Bowie High School, has really taken the lead in this effort. A lot of the students were Bowie High School students. Rennie uh, is a leader in, in this uh, strategy of building relationships with students, but he also has connected that to gaming. And so special thanks to Mr. Lazardo, uh, principal at Bowie, for his leadership in what was a really fun event. It does sound fun. And we, I saw it on the news, so I got a lot of attention out there. Your gaming skills right. are now, they're world known. <laughs> yeah. So uh, talking about Chief Al Jones, that wasn't the only event we did with him. We went with him over to Crow Leadership Academy for Take 25. That's right, so that was an opportunity to visit with elementary students about being safe in the summer, uh, because we know that the summertime, uh, students have a little bit more autonomy and they go places with their families. And this is a reminder uh, to really have a safety plan and be comfortable in reaching out to police officers, calling 911 whenever there's some uh, danger or they feel that they're in danger. And so we had an opportunity to answer questions uh, make presentations and the students at Crow Leadership Academy and the staff are outstanding and we had a great time there. And uh, we'll end today with playing a numbers game. The number is 3000. That's the number of particular awards in a certain category that we gave out. You were there for it. That's right. So over two years, Anita, we've had about 3000 of our staff members in Arlington ISD receive a service award. One of those milestone awards that we uh, give out in Arlington as they reach those years of service. And so over 3,000 of them uh, were honored uh, between last year and this year. And I just want to thank them and all our staff. Uh, when you reach certain milestones of service in our district, uh, you really become that role model and you demonstrate that service and commitment every single day. And it does not go unnoticed. We really appreciate that, your dedication to our district. We had over a hundred folks retire That's correct. in the past year as well. So that was really fun. We did a drive through barbecue. That's never the wrong thing to do. That's right. And Anita, special thanks to your department in particular, because you coordinate a lot of that. Uh, Anthony in particular coordinates uh, much of that effort. So thanks to him 
uh, for his hard work. Yes, trust me, it all goes to Anthony Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but we appreciate that. And here we are, it's the last, last couple of days of school, end of a school year. What are your parting words for everyone? So Anita, I think as we look back on this school year, uh, certain things come to mind. One is that we can be proud of our work. We can be proud of our efforts. So consistently over these times, I've shared a thank you, a big thank you to staff, students, and our parents and community for their patience, their diligence, uh, really throughout this pandemic, which was very challenging. And we know that times like this, we pull together. It really demonstrates who we are as a group and as a team. And we're a big district in Arlington ISD, but we came together to feed students, transport students, instruct students, keeping them safe, implementing our protocols, all those things that were so important to make it to this point uh, that we are today. So gratitude uh, for all that effort and all that work. We know the work is not done. Uh, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done, uh, but we've reached this point and just a big thank you to everyone. And Dr. Cavazos, we'll leave it at that. So well said. Thank you for being the leader. You've led us throughout the year, uh, last year as well, through really choppy, choppy waters. And we have made it. You know, we're safely coming to the That's shore right. uh, and, and we're ready to turn that corner, change our focus back to education as we know that's it right. to be and that's, that's a good place it is to a be. great place to be so thank you so much for that leadership and i just want to say thank you to everyone uh, who's participated in our district updates right. i've appreciated getting questions that we can ask you and thank you for being transparent a lot of topics that we've talked about have been really difficult that's right and we've all had to sacrifice in order to stay functional and I think we did that pretty well, as you mentioned. So I just want to thank you because you led that effort. Well, I appreciate it. And uh, just for everyone, have a wonderful, happy, safe, fun summer. And we'll see you in our district update back in the fall. That's right. <laughs>